Hello, today I'm going to explore what Office 365 offers for document management. This sounds rather a dry topic, but have you ever wanted to locate some information and wasted time looking for it? Maybe it was in a file somewhere, or on a piece of paper, and maybe it was on a document or audio file that somebody shared with you. Well this is where the features of Office 365 can really help you avoid losing that precious time as well as clearing up all that paper clutter. I'm going to look at just four options today, starting from folders on your OneDrive, out of the box SharePoint document list, SharePoint document center, the SharePoint record center, and then a quick look and how you might use a scanner with these to get rid of all that paper. So, looking at OneDrive. Every user of Office 365 for Business gets a OneDrive storage area of 25 gigabytes. This is going to be increased to one terabyte soon. And you can access this via your Office 365 homepage, examine and edit the documents using the web apps or client software, and sync all the files with your phone, PC, iPad, etc. And you can share folders and files with anyone inside or outside the organisation. You can drag and drop documents into the web browser or use the upload button. If you want to scan stuff in, it's easy. Just synchronise the folder to a scanner, connect the PC and scan away. Now that's the traditional way of organising information, you just hope that the folders and files are arranged with sensible names. It's not very handy though if you have information on a topic that might be spread across many folders. For example, does sales report need to be in the sales folder, or in the finances folder, or in the monthly report folder, or all of them? The problem with this approach is that you have to keep renaming the files with what the subject is and making sure they go in the right folders. And also there's no information about what the content might be except what's in the title. One possibility if you are saving or scanning documents is to make them searchable. The search function will then help find the documents containing phrases or words you're looking for. Ok, second option, document libraries. Libraries are lists in SharePoint, they contain the document or file you wish to save. The default information is in the file name and also in the document title. In addition to this, you can also include other attributes to the file. This can include simple keywords, right up to the Dublin Core metadata set, or a set of company defined metadata. You do this by adding additional columns to the document list. And the metadata set can be set up to be consistent right across the site collection, so you don't run into problems with everyone creating a lot of random or undesirable words. So here we start to lose the traditional navigation by folder and file name. I don't really care what the file name is, I'm just tagging the information so that I can find it using some search or filtering later on. And this can be really useful if you have a lot of reference articles that need to be maintained. So here I'm just going to add some keywords and you can see from the list here there is a lot of metadata terms I could use straight from the start. Okay, very quickly I'm going to put a load of different documents into this list and add some keywords.
Now, if I search using some keywords, I find my documents and I can preview them too. Now if I go back to OneDrive for a moment, you can also add this metadata to your OneDrive documents, as OneDrive is actually a large SharePoint list, useful when you start to fill up that one terabyte of data. Another option here is to create document types, which I'll leave for another time, but for now I'm just going to add some keywords to these. One last point is I'm going to switch on the document ID service. This ensures that whatever I do to a document, it always keeps the same ID and can be located again. Third option is the document center. So we've done document lists in a SharePoint site and the OneDrive. Let's look at the document center. This is a special type of SharePoint site and it's created from the new site menu under the Enterprise Options. Document Center sites are designed to store and manage corporate documents. These are different to Record Center sites, which we'll come on to in a minute. Document Center sites are a good choice when the goal is to have users upload documents directly into a repository where it's expected to stay. When created, a document center site includes a single document library called Documents. The site also includes a task list to track activities related to those documents. As items are added to the library, they appear in the two library views listed on the document center's homepage. Newest documents. This view lists those documents most recently added to the library in descending order by the created date. Modified by me. This view lists the documents in the library most recently modified by me, the user viewing the site. The document center also includes an upload document button that can be used to start the upload of a document. If I upload just a few random documents, you can see it behaves just like the other SharePoint lists. Ok, option 4 is the Record Centre. These are different to document centres and are meant to be used for longer term archiving of important items that are not expected to be changed. They include a drop-off library and a content organiser to automatically route materials to document libraries based on the document properties. The Record Centre is another type of enterprise site created from the new site menu. At first it looks like this, and there is some basic information about it on the front page. Record centers are not really set up for editing and collaboration. It's meant as a secure place to keep records that may need to be referred to in the future. For example, contracts, audits, formal reports. These can often be used with e-discovery, legal hold and compliance features. So I'm just going to set up a very simple record center with some record libraries and then a content organizer to sort documents into the folders based upon the title.
So there we are, I've created the record centre and here are some hints about how to set this up. Then go to site settings, manage record centre and check everything's okay. Hmm, I've got a few things just to check here. Then I'm going to create two libraries and I'm going to call them library 1 and library 2. Then I'm going to create a rule in the content organizer that says if the document contains the letters CV, put it in library 1. And then everything else, if the title's not blank, into library 2. Now I could also sort on specific document types or a load of other criteria if I'd set those up. Then I'm going to drag a lot of files into the drop-off folder and now I have to wait until the content organizer schedule runs and sometimes this can take a while, up to a few hours. Sometime later, here we are, there's my two libraries. It's sorted uh, CVs into one record library and everything else has gone into the other one. Scanning. Let's have a quick look at scanning and how to get rid of all that paper clutter. First choice is dead easy. Synchronise a document folder in OneDrive or a document list on your PC. Use the software that came with the scanner and scan away into the folder, naming everything as you go. If you have added extra site columns for metadata, then you can come back and add these to help find things later on. And if you make the document searchable, then the search facilities within SharePoint will work on the document details as well. The second choice is to email to a folder. Now my Epson scanner here comes with some software that will send straight to an email address. So adding a site mailbox to the site that contained my documents folder will enable me to send straight into that folder. The emails are kept in exchange and the documents go and attachments going to the folder. Let's see how that works. So here I am at the scanner and I press scan and I'm going to put some test document in. Here in my site mailbox I see the email and also the document in the documents folder. Last of all, let's just uh, see what we've got in the way of SharePoint apps. There's one by Kodak and one uh, called G-Scan Online. You have to pay for these and they add some functionality to help make things a little bit easier. So that's a quick overview of some of the simpler document and record management strategies available in Office 365. For more hints and tips on using Office 365 for business, go to simonjameskid.com.